Hey guys, welcome back to Prentice Clans. So, excavation continues down in the Adamantium Spire. We're still working our way through. We've dug out uh, most of the second layer. As you'll notice, I left out this blockade. Now, it doesn't directly line up to anything underneath it. I don't think it's part of the spire. However, I am being overly cautious until I actually get the uh, king here, just in self-defense. I did recently open up the surface to clean out some garbage, and unfortunately, when I did that, one of our kids got lost and got himself stuck up in the grinder. Other than that, things are going, well, relatively calmly. Uh, we're just kind of digging down and digging through. Uh, I have to expand where I was putting the water earlier, because if I come down here, I needed some extra area to lace out this general vicinity. I'm relatively sure the spire is here. That seems like the most likely location, so I think I have these two layers as completely clean adamantium poles. Uh, once I get down lower, I'll decide if that's correct or not. Uh, we have some magma crabs that we've been playing hide and go seek with, so we're trying to dodge in and out of carving these things between magma crabs. And the other thing I have to do is I have to let most of the water fade out so that the water pressure doesn't blow my miners into the magma uh, if I dig it while the water is current. Nothing else really big going on in Furnace Clans right now. Uh, we got plenty of idlers at the moment. We've had to kill off a bunch of undead things when we opened up the surface, but our trade depot is active again. The kegger that was happening on the surface really took a, did a number on the OMG. The OMG has a real problem dealing with horses or anything of a very, very large nature. There's really nothing we can do for that in its current iteration. The problem is, really, is that it doesn't build up enough speed usually before it impacts. And once it impacts, it slows down tremendously, so what it does is the next horse down pretty much stops it cold. It does eventually clear, and thankfully I have this rubber band effect going on, uh, which has really saved me from significant damage by the horses. What we may have to do is, is I may have to redesign this a bit, set up a minecart shotgun routine, as well as the grinder for anything that passes through. We'll see how that works out. Um, I'll get back to you on that one. I haven't decided how I'm going to set that up yet. Other than that, we're still trucking. Uh, there's still plans to get magma to the surface from the sea via pump stack. Uh, we haven't gotten near there yet. Uh, one of the things I do need to do, though, is start building out the green glass components. So, pumps for them to type. Green glass pipe. Let's try green pipe. Let's try glass pipe. Okay. Green glass something. Tube. So that'll be 120 tubes we'll eventually create. We'll also need corkscrews and blocks. But we'll get back to that. Other than that, um, I'll bring you back for something interesting. But right now, we're just kind of waiting on traders. We have a ton of goods I'd like to move to the laundry machine. Um, excuse me. The traders picking up all my crappy goods. I have the farms going, one per season right now, just so I don't lose too much manpower to it, but to start uh, bringing more food products back into the play. Uh, let's see. Anything else I can tell you guys while we're here? Uh, Woodstock seem to be doing all right. Uh, food is at 4,600. Booze is at 5,500. We don't have any specialty booze anymore because we haven't seen traders in a long time. And if we take a look at bars, nothing much in particular for bars. Uh, we have plenty of soap. Nothing otherwise has significantly changed. Uh, one of the things we were doing was we were creating a bunch of tin doors just trying to build up our blacksmithing, which actually I need to set that to melt again. And other than that, I'll bring you back for something interesting. Well, this is frustrating. I have a massive goblin ambush coming in. Well, goblin invasion. They're skipping the entry to the OMG. They're 
just kind of cruising around and having a good time. So, apparently the humans let their kegs lying around and the goblins have decided to go out drinking. Luckily, I've already sealed up the trade depot area. Or at least I airlocked it towards the outside. I'm hoping they can close up the outside piece of the airlock before the trolls get to it and break it apart. But that may be a moot point. And, oh, there's a gem cutter. Somebody out here is out to pull that. These guys are just milling around, having themselves a merry little good time up here. Not quite sure what to do with them yet. Alright, well, apparently some of the trolls decided to come down here and die for me. I'm getting checked on the magma. Trolls are kind of like uh, horses in a way, where if you get too many trolls on the tracks at once, uh, the minecart will slow down and or stop. Sure where my minecart is at the moment. Oh, must be on the left side. Yep, oh, just came across back over to the right. Tags him. So I guess we do have some people streaming down. I'm not sure why the rest of them are just streaming wherever they choose. Still haven't closed that bridge. But it looks like it's a moot point. Most of the trolls have gone downstairs. There's a couple of lingering ones up there. Starting to get worried I pulled the wrong lever. Ha! Huh, I did. Oh boy, that could have been ugly. I almost opened up the inside uh, bridge instead of closing up the outside one. Yeah, that would have went well. I think I'm about to lose the trade depot. So be it. Well, we're going to let them mill around and get themselves squished here in the OMG. Well, we were able to get the bridge up before any of the trolls got to it. So that's a positive. I won't have to rebuild the trade depot. 109 invaders. We've already cut down 30 or 40 of them. So invasions are getting pretty serious at this point in the life cycle of the fortress. Without some kind of automated defense or some serious military, there'd be no way I could stand up. So trapped automation is kind of necessary at this point. Got guys falling into the magma and getting lit on fire. Nothing quite new there. So as I mentioned, my minecart is getting stuck on the left just because it's running into too many bodies, too many trolls. The OMG, once a major amazing piece of engineering, has just simply been overwhelmed by the volume of forces. It's no longer just the humans who are doing it. The goblins are able to do it now with their vo uh, troll volume as well. So as you can see down there, down here in the bottom. He's hit the plunger for the hatch. He hasn't reversed yet, but this doorway over here is open, so people, the goblins are going to try and reverse up the northwest passage, as they are doing. As soon as Genius here moves off that, he'll be, uh, the door will close again and they should reverse. My guess, though, is he's trying to destroy the hatch cover, and because he's too close to it, he will never be able to. So I may have to manually go move him. If and only if I get my minecart moving again, I really don't want to engage half the goblin forces. What will happen here is these guys will come along the top, they'll hit this, and everybody will jam up for a bit. Right now my iron minecart is stuck here and it's trying to work its way through all of these enemies and there's just tons of them in the way. It's unfortunate, but this lovely piece of engineering is no longer cutting the mustard for invasions. I'm going to have to go to a redesign. If the worst case happens, I can always seal up the fort using these two last resort bridges and just wait until they go away. I don't expect a need to do that, but we'll see how this goes. Now it looks like my minecart freed up a little bit there. There it goes. So now we should take another pass on these guys. Yeah, there we go. It's finally got some momentum again. Too little too late, unfortunately. Now, if you look up here in the upper right, this guy's jammed up trying to go over that hatch, and he's not going to be able to. Uh, 
that hatch will close and reopen. Until I get this troll off this pressure plate, not much is going to happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the maintenance way down here. Okay, so we have trolls who have just reached the upper right corner as well. They're also standing on the plate, so they're not going to be able to destroy the hatch. You know, they destroy the hatch, it's not like they're getting in that way. Aha! The troll in the back there will actually be able to destroy the hatch over here. So I'll probably have to go over and rebuild that hatchway after this invasion. Okay. The access way is down over here, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the iron arrows and the copper arrows. We're going to move them here. Uh, oh, move. And we'll see if we can't drop a troll and get everybody moving back in the right direction here. At this point in their life, they have a decent mix of wooden bolts and bronze bolts. I've been using bronze to fulfill bolt creation requests. So this shouldn't take too long once they get an eyeball on them. That's, you know, providing they can shoot. There we go. Yep, these are already pretty much pounded to pieces. Well, obviously, the that just took forever. We're going to open that up. We're going to have all of our people get back into civilian uniform. Hopefully none of our children run out to the OMG. There's not much I can do for them. What we are going to do, though, is we're going to erase this area from... Safe and Sound. So that hopefully, because I've got civilian alerts on, these guys will get back inside. Yep, looks like the conga line is occurring. Excellent. Even the children are involved. Now you'll notice because this hatchway closed again, my goblins up here are starting to path back in. So that will help out. Once everybody gets back through the maintenance hatchway, we'll close that back up. So the troll pack up in the northeast have taken apart the hatchway. You can see the mechanisms there. Eventually, they'll path through the grinder and hopefully get chewed to pieces. So you can see I've got a bunch of trolls on the way here. And the minecart kind of pushes through, but it eventually slows up. This all depends on the mass that's on the track. It just gets overwhelmed. What I'll need to do is find a defense mechanism that doesn't care about the amount in the shooting gallery. My guess is I'm going to use a Magma Mine Cart Shotgun approach. My Woodcrafter is missing. Where the hell did he get off to? 007A. What happened to 007B? The only thing I could think of was somebody dropped his ass out of the magma. I don't see any goods down there. Uh, let's see something in the military. Go to the Miners League. Yep, looks like we lost him. Yep. Alright, so he's been eaten by magma. And let's build some slabs. So as usual, I want to thank you guys for watching and thank you for your patience. Holidays are interrupting my recording schedule a bit, as you would expect, just because, well, it's the holidays and I've got family all over the place. So I'm going to be losing some time here and there and work's been kicking my butt. But other than that, apprentice plans will continue. Uh, we will get to the mountain home or we will die. my computer will die of FPS loss trying. And other than that, uh, hopefully we'll get up to 40... Dot X eventually. I'm still waiting for Toady to stabilize that. He's been beating away on that and doing a release every week or two to the point where Paradexus can barely keep up with the release schedule. So until that settles down, I really don't see a reason to start digging into that version 
there's been a lot of bugs they've been cleaning up and it keeps changing relatively drastically between versions so until i get another recording done and we get through the holidays i may get another one out but i would doubt it thanks for watching and i'll see you next time